Gurmahagat a Kahirlig Agus Kogord Gazo Kreel at the Rish. The late great Kerry playwright John B. Keane once remarked that to be of Kerry is both a gift and an awesome responsibility. <laughs> to be a first time deputy from the Kingdom of Kerry, addressing this august chamber on the opening day of the 33rd Doyle is also a gift and a responsibility, but one that is both humbling and daunting in equal measure. Gurmahagat Arish de Kahirli Gasokton Taum Agasundesha Uhurtum. Anish Rachig Mekwig Ober Hochtuch and Lay. Targum Gunenem Noig Dolerden and Chachum Yhol Martin, Konakapa Egan Uchthron, Marhishach. New and all as I am to this chamber, I do recognise the reality of the recent election and the highly diverse nature of this House, which means, perhaps, that there will be no Tishuk elected today. No one deputy and no one leader can claim to speak on behalf of the will of the people. And there are many different mandates here concerning the government we should elect and the programme it should implement. However, this afternoon also marks an important moment for each one of us to signal how we propose to use our mandate and how we believe a new government should be led. In the case of my party, our objectives are clear, our intentions unambiguous. On behalf of the Fianna Fáil party, I am proud beyond measure to nominate Deputy Michal Martin for the office of Taoiseach. I nominate him, mindful that he is a person who is determined to leave a government which will not just talk about change, but actually deliver it. And he will do this in a way which strengthens the social, economic, environmental and cultural pillars of our society. The bard, William Shakespeare, sagely <coughs> reminds us, to thine own self be true and it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. In a lifetime distinguished by public service, Mial Martin has always remained true to himself, his people and his roots. Growing up in a working class Cork family, he learned the core values of community, commitment, integrity and decency. His democratic republicanism and his belief in the duty of politics to serve all sections of our society have defined his time in office. If you look fairly at his record, you see that he has already achieved far more positive change than his loudest critics could ever hope to match. By any fair measure, he was a radically reforming and progressive Minister for Education. In the area of special needs, he created the first ever programme of support for children with autism and indeed support for special needs in mainstream education. As deputies, we are all familiar with the need for additional childcare assistance and educational psychologists. But before Michal Martin, these services didn't even exist. And to our collective shame, children with special needs were most often excluded in our schools. Never afraid to take a bold step, <coughs> Michal began the expansion in multi-denominational schools in Gaelskolina by overturning 80 years of practice to entitle them to full funding for sites and building work. It is worth noting too, he implemented the only reform to the primary school curriculum in the past 50 years. A series of initiatives developed and implemented by Michal Martin to tackle educational disadvantage led to the highest school completion rate in our history. A new era in expanding third level education and a dramatic increase in apprenticeships. As Minister for Health, his radical changes to public health policy and to the development of public cancer and cardiac services have quite literally saved tens of thousands of lives. As a result of his reforms, the health system had at that time significantly lower and falling waiting lists for public patients, and all this done within budget. As Minister for Enterprise, he continued his radical work in developing the research capacity of our country, 
and secured investment which has provided the foundation for industries which now employ tens of thousands of people. And of course, in the Department of Foreign Affairs, he successfully led negotiations both in Europe and with all parties in Northern Ireland. A hallmark of this work was his steady support, away from the cameras and set-piece meetings, for investing in concrete cross-border projects and in reaching out to marginalised communities. Internationally, he pushed forward Ireland's work on non-proliferation and in 2010 was the first foreign minister in the world to bypass the blockade on visits to Gaza and to draw attention to the humanitarian crisis then underway. The policies which he has put forward as our priorities involve a mix of urgent action and longer-term reform to address the social, economic, environmental and cultural challenges facing our country today. They represent a positive agenda, a progressive agenda, a people's agenda. Irish politics is all too often highly personal and refuses to acknowledge the strengths of individuals. Time and time again, Micheál Martin has shown a deep personal commitment to delivering important progress for this country. It is said leadership is an action, not a position. Throughout his political career, by his deeds and his actions, Micheál Martin has shown himself to be a constructive, inclusive and effective leader. I have no doubt he will serve all the people of this country we love with integrity, insightfulness, nobility and decency in the office of Taoiseach. Arisht a cahirlig, tharagam gynanam noig dal erdin an chacht am Michal Martin, conicapa egan uchtran, marhishach, gurmagad.